Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to solve triangles using law of sines. Okay, so bago tayo pumunta dun sa ating mga examples, uh, define mo natin ano nga ba yung law of sines. So for any triangle ABC, where small letter A, B, and C are the lengths of the sides opposite, the angles with measures A, B, and C respectively. So, ang formula natin, we have sine ang angle A over A is equal to sine angle B over B equals sine angle C over C. So, as you can see guys, na yung fraction natin is binuo ng ating angle with its corresponding opposite side. Okay? So, hindi naman natin gagamitin kagad yung tatlong mga fractions na to. So, Pipili lang tayo dyan guys kung ano ba yung appropriate doon sa ating problem. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. So, solve the triangle ABC where uh, angle B is 62 degrees and angle A we have 46 degrees and C o yung side C natin is 24. So, dito tatlo yung pinapahanap guys. Uh, we have side A, side B, and angle C. Okay? So, sa tatlong yan, ang pinakamadaling makuha is yung ating angle C. So, using the formula, angle A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Tama? So, dito, ang A natin is 46 degrees plus angle B which is 62 degrees plus C equals 180 degrees. So, solving for C, lipat natin yung 46 and 62. So, magiging negative yung ating 46 degrees and 62 degrees. Okay? Then, solving for C, we have 180 minus 46 minus 62. So, we have 72 degrees. Okay? Okay? So, yung ating angle C dito, guys, is 72 degrees. So, ngayon, meron na tayong isang pair ng given angle and nung kanyang opposite side, which is yung ating side C and angle C. So, ngayon, kung meron tayong ganyang pares, guys, so pwede na natin magamit yung ating uh, law of signs. Okay? So, unahin natin yung ating uh, side A. So, to solve for side, uh, side A, so gagamitin natin yung sine angle A over side A equals uh, sine angle C over side C. So, dito ang pinili natin formula is yung merong C since sila lang yung may uh, pair na given yung parehas na sides and angle. Okay. So, substitute natin yung mga given. We have uh, sine A, which is 46 degrees, over A, which is unknown, equal sine C, that is sine 72 degrees, over C, which is um, 24. Okay? So, to solve for side A, ang gagawin nyo lang, guys, is by cross-multiplication, we have A times sine 72 degrees equals 24 times um, sine 46 degrees. Okay? Then divide both sides by sine 72. So, makakancel natin to. So, ang A natin ngayon is equals to 24 times sine 46 divided by sine 72. So, that is 18.15. Okay? So, next is solve naman natin si B. So, to solve for B, so, same formula lang halos. Ang gagamitin natin, we have sine angle B over B equals sine angle C over C. Okay, so kung saan yung sine B natin or yung angle B natin is equal to 62 degrees over B which is unknown. So, 
Next we have sine C which is 72 degrees and side C which is 24. Okay, so same procedure by cross multiplication we have B times sine 72 degrees equals 24 times sine 62 degrees. Okay. So next, pwede na natin ngayon i-divide both side of the equation by sine 72. Okay, so makakancel na natin ngayon to. So therefore, ang B natin is equals to 24 times sine 62 divided by sine 72. So that is 22.28. Okay, so nakuha ba guys? Kung paano natin na-solve C, A, B, and C. So next, let's have example number 2. So solve the triangle RST where S is equal to 10, T is equal to 15, and angle T is equal to 66 degrees. So una guys, uh, i-draw muna natin yung ating triangle para mas madali tayo makapag-generate ng ating formula. Okay? So, we have triangle RST. So, let's say uh, we have this triangle RST. Then, ang given natin, we have side S, which is 10. So, yung, S, yung side S is opposite nung ating angle S. Okay? So, that is S equals 10. Then, yung T natin, we have 15. So, that is opposite nung ating angle T. Then, yung angle T natin, we have 66 degrees. Okay, so may tatlo tayong unknowns. Una, yung ating R. Then, yung ating angle S. And, angle R. Okay? So, since uh, may given tayo dito na pair na kompleto yung values, meron tayong side T which is 15 and angle T which is uh, 66 degrees. So, meaning, pwede, pwede natin magamit yung ating law of signs. Okay? So, unahin natin isolve, guys, yung ating um, angle S since given naman yung kanyang side. Okay? So, yung kanyang opposite side. So, we have um, sine T over T is equal to sine angle S over S. So, ang angle T natin, we have uh, 66 degrees over T, which is 15, equal sine S. So, ang angle S natin is unknown, over S, which is 10. Okay, so by cross multiplication, that is 15 times sine S, which is unknown, equals 10 times sine 66 degrees. Okay? Next is divide both side by 15. So, makakancel to. So, we have sine S equals uh, 10 times sine 66 divided by 15. That is 0 0.6090. Okay? So, to solve for S, guys, ang gagawin nyo lang is kukunin nyo yung arc sine nung ating uh, decimal sa kabila. Okay? So, pag kinuha nyo guys yung arc sign ng ating 0.6090, so, lalabas dyan na yung angle S natin is may measure na 37.52 or 142.48. Okay? So, may dalawa tayong possible values ng ating angle S. So, ngayon, sino yung pipiliin natin dyan? So, as you can see, guys, na one of the angle ng ating triangle is 66. Okay? So, pag in natin si 66 dito sa ating 142 degrees or 142.48 degrees, is lalagpas tayo ng 180 degrees. Okay, so alam naman natin na pagka nag 
Pagka ang measurement ng ating triangle is more than 180, which that means na yung ating uh, shape is no longer a triangle. Tama? So, therefore, uh, si 142.48 is not a possible um, values ng ating angle S. Okay? So, ang pipiliin natin is yung 37.52 degrees. Okay? So, since given na yung ating uh, T, at the same time, meron na tayong angle S, so, pwede na natin makuha yung ating angle R by using S plus T plus R is equals to 180 degrees. So, ang S natin, we have 37.52 degrees plus angle T which is 66 degrees plus R equals 180 degrees. Okay, so solving for R, lipat lang natin yung 37.52 and 66 dun sa kabila. So, we have 180 minus 37.52 minus 66. That is 76.48 degrees. Okay? So, ngayon kung meron tayong angle R, pwede na nating masolve yung ating side R. Okay? So, again, by using uh, law of sines, so that is... Um, sin t over t equals sin r over r. Okay? So, kung saan na yung angle t natin is equal to 66 degrees over t which is 15 equals sin r which is 76.48 degrees over r which is unknown. Okay, so to solve for R, just cross multiply. That is R times sine 66 degrees equals 15 times sine 76.48 degrees. Okay, so just divide both sides of the equation by sine 66. So makakancel natin to guys. So, ngayon, ang value ng ating R is 15 times sine 76.48 divided by sine 66. So, we have 15.96. Okay? So, na na 19 diyan ba guys yung different procedure on how to solve triangles using law of sines? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in uh, the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! <laughs>